Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something a little different to take a look at. I recently went to my local Dollar Tree and saw that they had some of these Zuru Smashers Dino Island figures there. You know, for $1.25, even if they're goofy, you can't go wrong with a dinosaur or some form of prehistoric creature, because it looks, considering the artwork, like we have a lot of interesting creatures in these eggs and uh, I picked up you know a few of them I've got six here it states we have over 20 to collect so there's clearly quite a bit more than what I have here but I figured it would make a pretty fun video to kind of unbox them and then see what these little dinosaurs or other prehistoric creatures look like you can see the Images on the actual eggs look really cool. We've got very nice artwork throughout, as well as a T-Rex here that states one pack, and he's chomping on a bone. And then if we turn it around, you can see you throw it, you smash it, surprise, and then we rebuild and re-smash, or at least that's the goal, I guess, when it comes to playing with these figures. So I guess we'll go ahead, open these up, and then we'll smash the eggs and see who we've got inside each one of these very interesting Zuru Smasher Dino Island eggs. So in Inside the packaging, we actually have the full collector's guide here that shows us what all you could possibly get within these eggs. And you can see there's actually a lot, and it's not just um, dinosaurs. You can see as we move through, first of all, we've got like a Smilodon, but you also have things like mosquitoes and bears and bison, moose, rat. You also have a lion as well as a wolf we've got, an ox, a snake, and an ape. So there are a lot of creatures that you could possibly look at as modern day animals, of course, but we also have cavemen, we've got, uh, you know, pterodactyls, we've got T-Rex, Triceratops, Woolly Mammoth, Raptor. So you've got a few different, there's also a Brontosaurus, which actually I hope that's the one that I get. So there's actually, you know, quite a few that you could collect for sure. And, uh, you know, we've got a healthy mixture of modern day with prehistoric. So once you break the egg out of the packaging, you can see it looks pretty cool. Nothing super amazing, but definitely decent. It has the Smashers logo right there across the front. So, we smashed it, the egg, and within the very first egg, we have an egg. How about that for convenience? So, the first one that we have is that egg that you see there, or at least, I don't know if you took notice to it in that collector's guide, but you can see it's an egg that has kind of like a little eye poking out, and uh, it's got like a little rocky formation down under the egg with some... I don't know if that what that is exactly, some sort of a splatter of something on it, slime of some kind, so... That one is okay, I guess, but definitely not the ideal one to get straight out of the gate. We again have another egg. And look at that. That was pretty easy, actually, to smash it. I didn't have to smash my hand down on it to break that open. So we'll move the pieces of the eggs entirely out of here. And then bring in our creature. It looks as though we got the Smilodon, which is definitely a nice one to get. And uh, obviously these guys are very exaggerated as far as the style goes. They're appearance and everything he's got super wonky eyes and uh definitely looks cool so i mean that's a plus i knew that these figures weren't going to be quite as you usually see with like the zuru dino strike figures i knew these ones would be a lot goofier and you definitely can see that when it comes to the smilodon the next one has completely smashed open and straight out of the gate it's a dinosaur so that's great news even though you guys actually can't see it there he is. So I believe this is the T-Rex. So there we go. We have the little T-Rex. And it looks pretty much as goofy as I would expect for these Zuru Toys figures. They always have that very exaggerated look when it comes to this style. Turn the light on, make it a little bit brighter. But you can see, again, definitely has that very exaggerated style that you usually find when it comes to these sort of Zuru Toy figures. But really happy that I at least got the T-Rex. That's definitely a neat one to get. And they do stand pretty nicely. The next one that we have is now not a dinosaur, that's for sure. So we'll get the eggs out of here. Let's see which one we've got here. This looks like it's the ox, and he definitely looks really cool. Again, very goofy look. Not a whole lot going on paintwork-wise, and this one is we only have like gray and then brown over the top and the eyes painted out, but he still looks pretty cool. The next one, second to last. Oh, of course we get the egg twice. Out of 20, how do I get a repeat? 
I honestly did not expect that. I almost expected to get completely different ones through all of these. Now let's see if the last egg is a letdown. It didn't even crack. What are the odds of that? Oh man, twice now. There we go. This one is definitely not a repeat, but it's not a dinosaur again, as we have the wolf in this egg. So the wolf does look pretty cool as well, though. I will give him credit for that. Definitely looks neat. But honestly, for like $1.25, these figures, let me readjust the camera here and then bring these guys all in here so you can get a better look at what we got. But these figures are pretty cool. And again, for, you know, a buck twenty-five, you really can't go wrong when it comes to some goofy little figures like this and they are really neat they're very small of course but also very cheap which is a huge plus for these figures so if you guys like this video if you enjoyed this little unboxing let me know in the comments section and maybe i'll head back to dollar tree and grab another few more of these guys and see how many more we can either get repeats of or potentially you know some of the other dinosaurs at the very least that are included in this line and again let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these and also like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.